Hello everyone, it's me Mohamed al from Taif University. I'm going to demonstrate to you how to conduct the absorption of gamma ray with lead absorbers. In the first, at the beginning, uh, we have to measure the background radiation, which is the, the natural background radiation, by selecting the time on 600 seconds it's like what I'm doing now then the voltage on 8 the, to the optimal voltage on 800 volt then after that we are starting taking data from here by clicking on count and we can see now while the counting is counting the time is running as well <clears throat> uh, in the next step we suppose uh, we suppose it's finished now uh, as we did in the previous experiment we have to wait until the counting is stopped now we'll start uh, to we'll, we'll move to the next part of the experiment now reset and we'll move to the next part of the experiment we have to put the radioactive source on the fifth shelf of the holder so this is the location of the radioactive source and now <clears throat> and now we are starting to add some some lead absorber now we are starting to add some lead absorber and you can see here this absorber made from lead and we'll put it on the top shelf of the holder we'll go back to now to the counter and we'll adjust the time on 90 seconds and the voltage on the optimal voltage which is 800 volt and we'll start taking data by clicking on count now we can see that the count is resulted from the adding of lead absorber Okay, and we can calculate I not here. We can calculate I not without any lead absorber. Now we can see that the time is reaching to eight seven to fifty seconds, and. Let's see, it's, it's finished, and we have this count of this absorber. Now, we'll move to the next part of the experiment. We'll change, we'll change the, the absorber with a thicker one. You know this absorber is more, th th more thicker than the previous one. We'll put it here, and we'll do same as what we did previously by selecting the time on on nine on 90 seconds and the voltage on 800 volt and we'll start to to taking that on the next step as we will we'll, we'll add the third absorber which is more thicker than the, the previous ones and we'll put it there then we'll we'll do the calculations here or um, determine the counts as we did by selecting the time and the, the voltage from here and the next step is to put the thicker one at the top shelf to see the effect of adding uh, all, of, all of these absorbers with the radiation in intensity um, finally we'll add all of these absorbers 
underneath the first one in order to see, in order to determine the radiation intensity resulted from adding all of these absorbers. So we'll have it like that. See, you can see we have here four absorbers and we'll go back to the counter and selecting the time like on 90 seconds and the voltage on the same optimal voltage and we'll click on count to start taking data. Okay, thank you for... Okay, um, let's uh, make some, some comment. At the, at the beginning, we have to, we have to calculate I0 without any absorbers, like just with, 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 with the source itself, and we'll calculate I0 from here without uh, any absorbers, so we can uh, determine I0 from these readings here and without any absorber added to the holder. And thank you for your attention.